Hello and welcome back to Salasta. We have accomplished our quest to, uh, I don't know, take care of some someplace Karelem, I think it was called. And uh, now we are off to a some kind of ancient tower to bring back proof that the Solax, or Sorax, I keep calling them Solax, don't I? The uh, Sorax exist. A um, little bit of a weird loophole. I, I brought back like tails i have some tails on me you'd think that that would be something anything but no that's fine i mean it's story and uh sometimes you can't uh you know it's not like this is the main difference between a, a video game and like an actual uh D, &D campaign is D, D campaign uh, allows for flexibility of creative solutions you know we're gonna head back to care uh care lem because we have a couple of things we need to accomplish there her creates a chapter in their personal journal i like uh, i love that that is something that can happen what do you mean combat mechan we we have not left the town <laughs> how can we have a combat we're still in care uh, care cliff uh, kiflin bizarre well, hey, uh, at least we're fighting undead, so this this will give Gertrude a uh, an opportunity to shine, you know. Ooh, I got really good initiative rolls, except for Bron, Bronlar. Um, I have to assume that these guys, yeah, they're archers. These guys up here, weirdly, the guys up on top don't have, um, are, aren't ranged. I'd like to get behind here so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is actually move see if we can take a shot they have um they do have cover but that's fine we'll do um we'll cast a spell we're gonna get all of these back should be we did hit it nice we're doing piercing, so I'm pretty sure there there is a. Oh God, I honestly don't know how this works. I've I've questioned it in so many different you know ways and in, in so many different playthroughs of D and D. The way that damage works on enemies never seems to make sense to me. I think that it's in fifth edition. It's like they just don't take it or they take less of it. Uh, nominal damage output to. The skeletons should take reduced damage from piercing. Force undead creatures within six cells who can see you to flee. Well, none of them are, are near us yet, so we're just going to go ahead and do a basic attack. We did hit them. That must have been right. Oh, okay, so we take negative one. No, that was a negative one to hit, but it, I think we rolled a two. Yeah, so we do less damage, one less damage on the skeleton. So now what is Herc doing? Herc, um, I mean, they're undead, so they're likely not to take poison damage. But it's our best ranged uh, uh, weapon. And it still does 1d6. So regardless of whether or not, it, I guess it does 1d6 piercing. So and we missed anyway. Damn. It looks like we got the better half of this starting combat. Which is kind of nice. All of her attacks do piercing. It's kind of hilarious. Cannot reach that target. Okay, let's ready a ranged attack. Um, I should still be able to hit. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see if we can get the kill on this. Pop. I like how they, they kind of stand up and realize that they're dead for real this time and then fall to fall to pieces. I love that. Um, still can't really do anything. What we should do is cast light on one of them. Target is out of range. Target is out of range. They're all out of range. Okay, let's ready a cantrip attack. Oh, I should have selected the cantrip attack. Oops. Nice. 
Yeah, they're immune to poison and they take less from piercing. So um, piercing poison shot is not really the, the move. Hey, our readied uh, attack seemed to pop off. And I guess we did a readied cantrip um, attack instead of light, which is what I wanted. Ouch. Ouchies. Uh, reaction shot. Heck yeah, bud. The benefits of level three we missed. Apparently we don't get cover from this thing at all. That seems odd. So let's move here and then we'll have cover from something at the very least. Yes, dead. Here they come. Hold. Hold. Sorry. Hold. There you go. Skellingtons. You guys, remember? Remember James and the Giant Peach? I like that movie. It's got this weird reputation now, but I, I still think it holds up. I think that stop motion is almost always going to hold up. I... I don't think I could think of... I don't, I don't know if I know of any movie or any stop-motion movie that doesn't hold up. Um, I'm going to back up, and I think we should still be able to reach this skeleton here. Oh. We missed. You'd think that a skeleton would be really hard to hit with an arrow, you know? Like, I feel like we should get... Um, disadvantage to shooting a skeleton with a with an arrow o over them like taking less damage because the thing is, is if an arrow hit a skeleton at high speed I mean a, an arrow has just as much of a chance to like you know break bone as uh, as any other sharp blunt object you know let's see if we can't uh, turn undead now well, looks... I don't know if this is in range, to be honest. So we're going to hold out for one more turn. Nice. That was a really solid hit, actually. And we want to, like... You know, we don't want to really move back. We want them to come to us so that Gertrude gets to do her turn undead. I understand we are like nice. killing them, but uh, there's no no problem with that really. Oof! Oh, Ak Kalen, huh? Well, she gets to uh, attack back. You uh, you shot at the wrong elf, and I also did twelve damage. Just kind of insane. Long range attack. Um, sure. Let's shoot at a disadvantage. Oh, can't reach. Shoot at a disadvantage. Hey, we still got it. That feels good. I love that. Oh, that was a solid hit. I'm not even going to spend any spells this combat if I can avoid it, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Bronlar is taking some nasty damage. Okay, um, let's target this guy. Pop. Gertrude, can you finally do... I guess, uh, we've been killing everyone, so... But let's, let's try it here. Let's finally use our turn undead. Cleric superpower! The... I guess that guy wasn't in range, and also that guy succeeded his, uh, his role. So, uh, all right, cleric superpower failed. Oof. Oh, 
Who are we shooting at? Canlan again? Or Callan? Oh, why do I keep make, getting her name wrong? Pop. Nice. We actually got the kill on the return fire. Gertrude taking some hits. Wow, okay. Um, I don't think I can hit. Ow, oh, I forgot there's a skeleton like right there. Dumb. Stupid me. Shoot. Damn it. Guess we're doing a ranged hit. Hey, at least we did hit it. I don't want to use my rage unless I really have to. Um, hitting this thing is going to be a disadvantage, unfortunately. Can't really use any spells. What kind of power do we have? Detects the presence of certain creature types in the location. Short sword plus short sword. All right, let's swap to a melee. We did hit it. Still piercing? This should be uh, slashing. Attack an enemy target with... Oh, we can do a second attack? Oh, heck yeah, bud. Two attacks? I didn't realize that she had multi-attacks yet. Or multi-hit. <sighs> really kind of a bummer. Uh, apparently I didn't equip her with her hammer, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. It doesn't cost me anything because I was going to shoot at this guy anyway. Nice. We did one damage. Can we hit this guy? Nope. Move up. Shoot them. Nice. It's actually a pretty fun dynamic camera there for once. I'm still kind of like um jaded about dynamic cameras since uh my adventures in BattleTech really kind of led me to to dislike them in a lot of ways. Um switch back to arrows. Oh, we cannot see the target, huh? Hmm. Wow, okay. Well, we'll ready a ranged attack then. We can see them from there. It doesn't really make sense, but that's fine. We missed. Hoping that she gets to take a swing with her hammer. I guess we could have healed them. I've mentioned this before, but one of my favorite little uh, quirks of fighting undead in games is like, if you heal them, it does the opposite of necrotic damage. Why can't we hit it? Oh, we can. Nice. That's that. Your knowledge of skeletons has increased. Okay, let's uh, go and pick up our loot. We've got some arrows for Kalan. We don't need a short bow. Um, arrows, short sword, arrow, arrow. We're good. Got a bunch of stuff over here. Probably nothing useful. If we could get some of that cool, what was it called? Cran dust? Cur dust? Definitely we're picking up those arrows for Kalan. This is all kind of rubbish. Is there stuff over here? No, I guess they made their way over and then I, uh, killed them. Okay, let's, uh, we'll finish our long rest and hopefully everyone will heal up to full. I don't think I spent any spells, like any meaningful spells. I might have spent one, but it doesn't matter. We get it all back. Finds a bird nest and gather some eggs. The party gains four food rations.
Gallivan Amaranth. We got some more Gallivan Amaranth. This is good. We are here. So we have to go back to the goblin lair. Um, we have the jump spell now for rangers, so we should be able to find get that uh, the rest of that those goodies that were in the cave. But we are gonna have to do some extensive exploration here. I don't know if they're gonna throw some like new combats um, here to spice things up. Really have no idea. If it was like if I was gonna put a bet on it. I would say they probably will, because, you know, how could they not? And funny that this stuff is still here. I guess uh, our scavenger uh, crew has not come here yet. Okay, let's uh, go back to the goblin lair. I thought I... You know, I wonder if that extra little book I found isn't a knowledge of that um, quest. I wonder if that's I, like I already got it. Scholars at the Tower of Knowledge who believe that the goblins have evolved a written language. So go back to the, there, find a potential example of goblin writing and bring it back to the quest board. Uh, what? Oh, uh, we're fighting an ogre. Oops. And a dire wolf? This stuff is like... We are not playing around here. Ogres are like... Actually really nasty, so... Uh... Kind of concerned. Um, this is Herc. Are we surprised for the round? I don't think we are. Gertrude needs to cast light on something. Charm person. Make an ally of an enemy. I wonder if we could do that. Does not have the correct type. Enemy creature. Targets must be humanoid. How is it not humanoid? It's an ogre. Um, hmm. Your wounds, fairy fire. Let's do fairy fire. Nice. Goblin succeeded. But that's okay. Oh, God. They missed. Um, we can't reach them on- oh, did I seriously just do that? I switched because- and I didn't even know if I couldn't reach him yet. Oh, that's so stupid. So now I'm not gonna be able to get to them. Oh, that's so dumb. I just- I just blundered completely. I didn't realize I couldn't reach them. So I guess I'm going to focus on dodging. Uh, I'll rage on the next turn. Um, kind of want to do like guiding bolt. Now's the time, I think. Try and hit it. Why has it got an AC bonus? All right, we'll move a little bit. And we're going to do, we're going to try and do a guiding bolt. Target has co half cover. How do they have half cover? Someone explain to me. <laughs> How do they have half cover? Please. Okay, they don't have half cover anymore. Thank God. All right, we're going to do Guiding Bolt. We missed. Cool. Cool. Just, um, just miss with your most powerful spell. It's fine. Just, just 
it's just fine. And again, they have half cover, and I'm not sure why. I guess it's because I'm shooting past Herc or something, but, like, it really doesn't make much sense to me. Well, we did hit them. We did some nice damage. I meant, I should have, I, like, I, I, it's because the, the button to mark something is not as obvious. I read these uh, textures, like, seriously look broken to me right now. I have to wonder if it's because they're in darkness, but that goblin isn't in darkness and, like, their textures aren't broken. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Okay, that hit for sure. Okay, um... It's concentrating to maintain the spell Hunter's Mark. And we can't charm this guy, right? They're not a humanoid. Range attack with enemy nearby. Let's just do a basic attack. Don't know why we don't have our shield out, actually. Critical hit. I don't think anyone needs healing. Callan took a hit. They sh uh, Ogre tried to shove me. We will now go into a rage. Grants you bonus attack with your melee weapon during the rage at the cost of a level of exhaustion when the rage ends. Yeah, let's do it. Now's a good time. We'll do a reckless attack on the wolf. Nice. Good hits. Did I... Was I supposed to attack it again there? I feel like I was meant to do that and I didn't do it. Don't know. I fear yeah, range attack with enemy nearby. Do we have a better spell? Inflict wounds might be good. That does 3d10 damage. Yeah, let's do that. Don't miss. We missed. You've now missed with two of your most powerful spells. Really, really bad. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, this isn't great right now. I would like to disengage. Can we, uh, we can try and hit the ogre. It's going to be a disadvantage, unfortunately. We did hit it still, though. Okay. Attack of opportunity. I'll we'll take it for sure. We did some nice damage. They haven't hit us either, which is kind of nice. Disadvantage, and we will attack back. We haven't really gotten lucky with those yet. Wow, they keep going for Callan. I guess she's the only one that uh, we can see right now, or they can see. Um, Make you lose concentration on the Fairy Fire spell. Oh, I see. No. So, I really wish I had better indicators that told us, like, who's got fairy fire on them. Highlighted. Who's highlighted? Denture Hunter's Mark. Okay, so the only one that's highlighted right now is that goblin. We don't care about that goblin. Yes, I don't care. We want to do fairy fire on all of these lads. Uh, unfortunately, that also um, hits our own allies. Didn't realize that, actually. That's 13 damage. Okay, so we did get bonus attacks, and I don't think I used them. Ogre is unlit. Oh my god. 
I, having one human on my team is actually really bad. <laughs> um, and I can't ready my attack. Delay an attack until later in the turn. Well, we're just going to attack twice at disadvantage. Where is the highlight? I guess it only lasts. I, I don't know how long it lasts, but it didn't seem to last very long. Well, we did hit, so that was pretty good. Ah, shucks. Uh, a dang shame, you know? Um, I swear to God, if you miss again with your third level one spell, there we go. There we go. And it was actually a crit, but, um, wasn't enough to kill. And we're going to swap back. To, we're going to swap to melee. Because we get two hits and that dire wolf is dead. We'll start working on the ogre. Nice. I'll take it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 14 damage. Ogres hurt. Ogre hurt hard. Please don't hit Kellen. Oh, thank goodness. Please don't hit Kellen. Okay, that's hurting a lot. Jesus. Hey, I wonder... Um, oh, we can't, we can't be a bear yet. If we're a wolf, we get 2d4 plus 2 damage, which is nice. And also knock prone, which is kind of cool. Um, really haven't been making much use of that. I don't think it's necessarily useful right now. We can do fairy fire again. How come I can't do no free hand to perform somatic? Okay, so that's that's why I uh, had was using just my my free hand because now we can do. Venomous Spike, although that's a ranged damage. Um, let's just do uh, Poisonous Spray. They succeeded. That spell has yet to work even once. Oh, God. Okay, Hurt. Herc is hurt. Really, really don't like this uh, turn order right now. Heal other. That counts as a main action, though. I really just... We did hit them. I really need to cast Light as Gertrude. Please. Yes. Gertrude, you are going to cast light on this ogre. Wow, that's that is a very good success from that from that ogre. Um apparently casting spiritual weapon is a bonus action, but I really can't afford not to heal Herc. I would love to summon a spirit weapon. Can we... Maybe if we... We don't have light as the... Uh, additional damage from you. Have we already highlighted one? Yeah, we did. So we're gonna... We'll, we'll, we're gonna do this. It's fine. I'm not too worried about losing a spell. That counts as our bonus action also. But we're going to do some bonus damage when we would not have previously. We missed. Or they missed, sorry. Uh, really tired of these goblins. In fact, they're probably going to kill someone. They just downed Gertrude. Cool. Yeah, this is this is a real problem. Those, those goblins sucked. I didn't realize they were going to throw a combat like this at, at us.
Um, going to have to focus on just recovery for now. Cannot reach that target. What? Oh, I see. We have to be within range. Uh, technically, I can be within range without provoking an attack of opportunity. So let's go ahead and heal Gertrude. Um, Gertrude is okay. What happened to our bonus action? Okay. Yeah, I think this is done. I don't think that the, we can actually survive this. And Gertrude never did, was, was able to cast light. So we're constantly in darkness. It's really frustrating not being able to see. Fortunately, I mean, like Bronlar has been getting some lucky hits off. Um, come over here and we're gonna heal other, we're gonna heal Herc. That one health just ensures that they're not making saving throws. That takes an action? God damn. Okay, Gertrude. Gertrude, please. Please succeed here. Cast light on this ogre. Nice. And, um, we're gonna summon a sword. I think they should be able to fly. They technically should be able to fly. Strike an opponent. I guess they could just attack from there, but that's good anyway. Force damage. Okay, Kellen has rolled her first failure. Thank God for that scale mail. <laughs> oh my God, these goblins with their like cheesy little bows. <sighs> um, we are out of healing words. Must wield, wear a spell focus or component pouch. I guess we don't have either of those on us right now. Do we have a spell focus? We have a druidic spell focus. Can equip secondary weapons here. If your main hand is already equipped with a two-handed weapon, is this a two-handed weapon? So we equipped it, but we can't use it because it's in the wrong slot. That's whatever. It's fine. Um, can we try and kill that goblin? I, I know what you, you might be thinking is like, hey, why not kill the ogre? I, the goblins have done honestly far more damage than the ogre has. Like it's it's kind of ridiculous. We can finally hit this thing because with not with disadvantage. Please kill it. There we go. And then get to safety. Actually, Bronlar is one of the few people that is like, okay right now. Gertrude, can you... Um, actually, she should do spare the dying. Is this a, a, a... it has to be ranged touch. Okay, so she's gonna have to move back into danger. Cast spell. Spare the dying on Kalan. She is no longer dying. We can't cast anymore. We can make another spear weapon, but I'm pretty sure once we are... when we already have one, it, it doesn't do anything. Wow, that was really decent damage. Who are we shooting at? <sighs> uh, we're gonna survive this, but it's just really frustrating right now. Um, looks like I don't actually have any way of healing them. 
The only one left now is the Barbarian. So we're going to have to do a dash. Nice. Okay, Gertrude rule to fail. Wow. If her can um, get up, then um, we can potentially, he can potentially heal the others. Let's do a reckless attack. Yes. Please. God damn it, Gertrude. What is what is this? Okay, so Herc rolled a fail, so that means that he needs another turn to think about it. Those goblins are really going to make me work for it, isn't it? Reckless attack. Please kill. Nope. I I'm I was uh. Okay, Gertrude is not dead yet. My god. This goblin has done more damage than two ogres combined. Okay, Herc is no longer dying, but he's un unconscious. I forgot about that part. Pretty sure if I switched to javelins, I could not just, like, take two shots at uh, this goblin. We can try. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, no. Uh, you have to forgive me for being frustrated. This is like really kind of garbage. Game over. Well, that sucked. Everything about that sucked. And, and the only reason I lost that is because I had to, like, spare the dying is, uh... Well, honestly, I guess the only reason I, I that I lost that is because I didn't realize spare the dying was touch. Um, because I moved Gertrude to safety. If I had gone and done spare the dying first and then moved into cover, she probably wouldn't have gotten hit. So... We're gonna have to be a bit more careful to stay in, uh in cover and i'm gonna be a bit more proactive to kill those goblins never mind <laughs> cannot see that target okay let's do a ranged cantrip and we'll do venomous spike nice that was really decent damage actually So now here's the problem, is the ogre has managed to move right up to us. Um, and that's a problem because now we can't move without provoking an attack of opportunity. I'm going to move up here. I'd really like to try and take care of some of these goblins first. But unlit, <laughs> ranged attack with enemy nearby and long... <laughs> very much are in disadvantage here so let's just swap back to our axe and we'll rage frenzy wrestle a reckless attack attack it we missed cool what's up with the textures on these ogres like they're so weird similarly the wolf is just like I'd, I'd go so far as to say it's kind of bad, actually. Um, what I should probably do is disengage. I know it sucks. Or um, cast light on this ogre. 
Well, they succeeded. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Shield of Faith on myself, on Gertrude. And now I'm going to just go ahead and take an attack of opportunity. And they can only do one per turn, I believe. So this will mean that hopefully... Cool. I that Oh, that spell actually saved her butt. That means Callan should be able to move out of the way without provoking an attack of opportunity. Uh, we don't really have a spell we can cast, so we're just going to take a shot. Oh, be, make sure to do our Hunter's Mark first. Nice. Good hit. Got our second over heading over. Wolf undoubtedly has some pretty insane speed. Honestly, I'm more worried about those goblins than anything else. I know they got really lucky. How can they hit her? Straight up. I guess they've got height advantage. That's how. Why does he have advantage to hitting Bronlar? I don't understand that. I would like uh, I'd like a ruling on that, GM. <sighs> Bronlar is. Oh, I guess it's because they he he used reckless vulnerability probably. Yeah, that's why. Um, Herc, uh, like this, this, uh, initiative is bad. It's really bad. Who can we hit? We can hit this ogre here. Can we hit this? Yeah, we can hit this goblin here. Wow, that was a really... You better promise that, honestly. Well, that's bad. That's 13 damage. Ogre is unlit. We are again in this situation. Oh, at least we are hitting. I mean, he's got a plus seven to hit, which is kind of insane. Gertrude, please. Actually, like, maybe light up the dire wolf. Perfect. There we go. Who needs healing? Bronlar could probably do with a touch-up. But let's, uh, let's get a spirit weapon out, actually. Nice. Very good damage. So apparently she's in threat range of this ogre. That is unacceptable. Uh, I am going to disengage from that, actually. I'm sorry. Like, it's just, like, not okay. Unfortunately, he doesn't get to attack. The wolf missed. This is good. Goblin gets to shoot at who exactly? Bronlar? Who's, who are they attacking? They attacked Kalan? No, they attacked Bronlar as well. No, they did attack Kalan. How come Kalan didn't get to attack back? Okay, let's go for a Venom Spike here. Oof. Yeah, I mean, that was not great. <laughs> okay, can we get a kill here? Nice. Very, very good damage on the wolf. Excellent. 
Okay, um, let's start with the spirit weapon. Okay, would have been nice if that was a kill, but it's fine. Um, let's, I guess that counts as her bonus action, doesn't it? So now she can't spare a heal. She could, she could sp spare a cure wounds on uh, Bronlar. That is the worst that could have rolled, and it was still not terrible, to be honest. Um, so we need to do a new... We don't actually want to kill the direwolf, now that I think about it. We want to target that ogre. Cannot see this target. How is that possible? Okay, you know what? Let's go here and shoot at that goblin. How about that? What do you mean disadvantage? Well, we still hit it. Oh, that's nice. Bronlar gets an attack of opportunity. It's always a good day. Did some decent damage there. Right, were those two separate attacks? Ouch. It's a nice miss from the wolf. Wolf is almost dead. We have to keep a wolf around in order to have light. Okay, um... Alright, you'll have to excuse, uh... My momentary lapse there. I had to deal with something. So we're just, like, basically keeping this dire wolf alive to shed light on stuff. Um... Which is not a great situation. If we could get Gertrude to cast light on this ogre, then we could go ahead and kill the wolf. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a venom spike on this guy here i wonder can we we could oh let's kill that goblin actually oh, that is not that is not what you want um bronlar could use a touch up let's go ahead and give him a bit of a give him a, a buff a, a bonus all right we're gonna continue smacking uh this ogre here Crunch and slash rage damage. Uh, Gertrude, where is the sp oh, the spirit weapon? Still there? Can we get it to move here and attack the ogre simultaneously? If we kill the ogre, nope. Wait, that was my entire turn? Okay. Why is why is attacking... I guess moving with the spirit uh, weapon is also uh, similarly the same. Hmm. Can we... We can ro uh, roll with disadvantage on that guy there. But I don't... I don't want to do that. You know what? Let's move here. We're going to put Ka Kalan in threat. The reason being that if the goblin shoots at her, then she'll get to shoot back at the very least. Uh, we're going to continue firing on this ogre. Nice. Not bad. Can we... We can cast a spell. Ugh. Fortunately, uh, Bronlar has some pretty good resistance. Like, we are taking damage, you know, for sure. Yeah, there there it is. We lost the Hunter's Mark, unfortunately. Nice! How are they alive? The Goblin just took 12 damage and they're still alive. Can we please kill that freaking Goblin? Thank you. Um gonna heal Bronlar again because he's still in front of an ogre and direwolf and those heals are not exactly uh life-changing life-saving even Ooh, a crit 20 yes now we can kill that wolf 
Double kill. All right, let's uh, make our way towards that last goblin. This was done uh, a lot better. So now, um, can we get it to... Uh, it's a shame we can't get it to move very far, the spirit weapon. Can we fire from here? Is unlit out of dark vision range, right? Okay. Uh, I mean, we can shoot with disadvantage. I'm comfortable with that. It's fine. We'll get the uh, spirit weapon to move, even if it's, uh, it's going to take a while to get there. Maybe we can hit from here. Yeah, no disadvantage. Cool. Nice hit. Very good. Um, oh, they're shooting with disadvantage. Cool. Uh, let's move Kurt. Hurt? Herc. N none of those. <laughs> Move him up, and then um, we can do not a poison spray, but a venom. Venom, needle, spike, and miss. Yeah, we could miss. That's cool. Let's uh, dash over there. May as well. You never know. Bronlar might get to it in time. Um... This is with disadvantage, so let's just move uh, Gertrude out there and try and hit it. Nice. Good good shot. So it's just um, Callan left. I mean, I'm going to move the spirit weapon. There's no reason not to take every advantage, you know? Excellent. Oh. Very, very close to a kill. Mm, not quite. We could move out, and I guess we may as well. Because, like, if they shoot at Callan, um, she gets to shoot back. Miss. She act Goblin actually fired at Callan. And we got the kill as a, re as a result of that. Con save... Oh, we failed. We failed our um, our constitution check. So unfortunately, we have a uh, we have we are exhausted. Bronlar gets a mark of exhaustion. Bummer. There's gonna be even more stuff here. When. Um, When the uh, group gets here, what is that? Painted hide? Oh, is that uh, the mission objective completed? There's going to be arrows like everywhere. Um, there's more stuff back here. Whoops. It's, it's a, I kind of wish there was a semi easier way of looting. I'm not a huge fan of like, tell a character to go over to this bag. And also it's, you know, they doesn't count, uh, you know, like you can't access everyone's inventory. We're out of combat. And, you know, this is the kind of thing that slows down actual D&D &D, is like who gets what and make sure someone comes in, you know, comes over and, uh, you know, stuff like that. I don't find this particularly compelling. We've got some short bows. I don't care about short bows. We have some more. We have another arrow. We're not picking up any of these weapons. They're going to get sold. More nothing. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure that's everything. And I'm also pretty sure... Is that something else? No, it's not. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else here of any value. It's an interesting looking like goblin. 
zone. I'm pretty sure this was something from the last combat. Oh, there's something. Oh, yeah. Again, that's something from the last combat. Yeah, that's just like a short sword. I can check that thing, but I am very, very sure that that is nothing. Let me just check to see... Goblin culture. Yeah, we're, we're done here. Okay, I thought there was a bag up here to mess with, but... There is a bag up here. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's do a short rest. People need to recover their health points. Uh, mostly Braun. Braun, uh, Braunlar needs to, uh, get some health back. And, um, Kallen. That's pretty good. Oh god, that's uh, that's our first really bad roll of that. That's fine. Um, we don't get our spells back, and Bronlar is going to be exhausted for potentially the rest of this quest. But um, only at uh, K Urn was it called? Uh, whatever is his name, is it Kane uh, Kane Kern Can Kern? I don't know. Whatever this place is called. Um, I can't remember. Was that the easier of the two quests? That is a, a little bit alarming because that was pretty tough. You know, we're looking at level three stuff now and um, like, I guess, I guess we're okay. So if it was level four, I guess I could take it, but um, I don't know. Could It could go either way, to be honest. I'm a little bit worried about what we're going to find here. Oh, this is like a town now. interesting do we have more quests and stuff clear skies friend clear skies deputies that guy looks shady as hell how's business in, in care lamb that's it how's business been since we cleaned up the place not bad some folks are starting to explore a little further though this Sorak attack still has people nervous. Still, there's been no sign of them since. So, we mostly pretended to be happy. Huh, good for you. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Bertram. Good to meet you, Bertram. So, quick shopping? What, what do we got here? Scavenger Expeditions. Heading to these locations to collect and bring back the loot left behind. So, three days and two hours. Really funny that uh, this place is already established before the scavengers got here. I wonder if there's a store here. Um, if we could do a long rest before our next big encounter, that'd be kind of nice. What is this? Open closed door. Um, I don't know what that did. Did that do anything? Conversation recorded. Oh, there's a, there is a general store. They've, uh, they've actually put little border, border, uh, board bridges and ladders. I appreciate this, actually. I, this, like, really shows, um, you know, uh, some interesting progression. For the player because it's like yeah i mean the stuff you're doing in the world isn't just like you know ding quest done level up it's also like hey you cleared this place out and now it can be re-established as a town that's legit so what do we got here um we could probably sell some stuff i am starting to become a little over encumbered oh right we have these corrosive bolts i should put those in uh, our secondary inventory slot Badlands bear pelt. Gorilla pelt, huh? Wow, we're gonna see some interesting stuff in this world. 
Okay, let me just real quick do a little bit of inventory management, but we are going to end our episode here pretty soon. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, actually, we didn't do any crafting. Scroll of Cure Wounds. So we could craft that. We have the means. Um, we still don't have that Scarn powder. I guess Gertrude was proficient with the Poisoner's Kit. We could have had... Uh, I guess we have someone with both... Uh, with proficiency in both Herbalism and Poisoner's Kit, so it, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, let's, uh, let's craft some more arrows. It'll take a little bit of time. Is there a campfire somewhere where we can do a long rest? Or even an inn? Looks like I didn't go over here. There's some places left unexplored here. We are gonna have to go into that Sarlacc pit. It's a little bit inconvenient to get into this area. I feel like they could just, like, punch a hole through this wall. And it'd be a little bit better. I don't think we've been over here, and there's there's possibly some more goodies. No? No, there's nothing? Well, shucks. Okay, well, I guess that's gonna do it. Um, really kind of bizarre that there's no campfire anywhere. Did I check out that, um chest i don't know if i did no campfire no no place to do a long rest it's fine though we'll we'll figure it out um, i'm gonna do a fairly spicy mission in the next episode so i hope you join me for that oh cool there's all this business that we didn't do um so I, I hope that you enjoyed this if you did definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll leave it on this note we got 11 GP hide armor not awful I mean it's basically the same as our leather armor the only person that could maybe use that is a uh, Herc since he uses natural armors but uh, yeah that's fine anyway I'll see you guys next time take it easy